Tahira's death sends a clear message. We must eliminate Rufio. The Brotherhood in Sinai is on the brink of extinction. Did he land at the quarry? No, at Alcinoe. He is most likely lingering on his Octarim. He is a master at guarding himself, and cutting true fear into the heart of a people. Where my lieutenants have failed, I will not. I won't set foot on that cursed peninsula of savages. But they will bow to me. Rufio left from under my watch, and I caught word of what happened at the Bureau. But there are good souls, too, in Rome. What of Memphis? The Hidden Ones are fine. But with no clear pharaoh, we are lost. I worry our temples have been sold away. And then, there is Cleopatra. She has brought prosperity to Alexandria. This I cannot deny. It is her lover's army that bothers us now. Mark Antony bears the same stench of tyranny that Caesar did. Rufio carries the same order. Yes, to the Sinai. Which is why we must be the welcoming party. Of fire and... Bayek! Bayek! Quick! You must help us! The village is being attacked! Bayamun, how do they know my name? Dirty Nabateans! Do not stand in Rome's way! This is a bloody massacre! Defend the Nabateans! This is madness! Why are they killing civilians? This is madness! Why are they killing civilians? Something is not right!
battle is done. Now I should kill the man who sent these soldiers, Rufio. I should be cautious around here.
Ancient's room to breathe. So it is true. The hidden ones exist. <laughs> we thrive. Strange. How you want the same things that we want. Peace. Order. And yet our ideas will survive. You can kill me. But you cannot kill us. Caesar built a strong order before he was stabbed in the back by your cowardly wife. Our power burns in the shadows. And we create those shadows. <laughs> the hidden ones bury you. Anubis awaits. I will explore the Temple of Thoth. Rufio is dead. I should tell Amunet. She will be pleased. <clears throat> they will have peace until the Romans send another general. It is endless. We must make the Hidden Ones as enduring as the Order. There's a more immediate problem. Gamilat. The people look on him as if it were a god. They glorify his every action. <laughs> he fights for the people's freedom. <laughs> you and I just witnessed a massacre. I've spoken to the villagers. There have been many such massacres. Each, Gamelat sends his rebels to provoke the Romans. The rebels hide among the villagers, inviting the Roman backlash to fall upon the most vulnerable. Many villagers are slaughtered in the fight. You're saying he does this knowingly? This tactic creates martyrs for the cause, and families eager to take vengeance upon the Romans. His plan was to cause a slaughter, to recruit more rebels. He's done this again and again. He is building a rebellion at a terrible price. He is a friend. Recall. That Cleopatra was more than a friend. Yet I trusted her too well. You helped me see my mistake. He and I must talk. I am astonished by Gamilat's actions. Is he leading the rebellion for personal power? I don't think so. I believe he wants the rebellion to succeed so badly that he is blind to the cost. He genuinely sees the villagers as martyrs. He does not consider that they had no choice. And the tactic has been successful. He will certainly use it when the Romans send another general. Whoa, whoa. 
Tell me of your life in Rome. It's a marvelous place, full of intrigue, deceit, and corruption. <laughs> the perfect city for a hidden one. <laughs> I expected you to talk about the wine. The wine is very good. You should come visit sometime. We'll have a taste. I might do that. It is ahead. He will be surrounded by his rebels. Ah, they see him as a god. We cannot challenge him in front of them. <laughs> Awful young, aren't you? Come here, play soldier, have a laugh. Neb, where's your leader? Gamalat is on a hunt near the oasis. I have no reason to laugh. Sure. It is all very serious. Why are you here then? I will go speak to Gamilat. You stay here. Keep the rebels away. Fight well. Bike. What is this about? You have been provoking massacres. Many innocent villagers have died. I have exposed the vile cruelty of the Romans. Those martyrs have inspired countless warriors to continue the fight. Martyrs? What are the lives of a few villagers in light of freedom for all? The lives of a few villagers? They had no choice in the matter. Bayek, don't be absurd. We fight on the same side. No. Here. We simply fight. So be it. You will be the ultimate martyr. You fight well, Hidden One. But my shield is the strongest in all the Sinai. from nothing! It will survive you! You have become a torch for the cause! Turn, Diane! Let your accusations turn to ash!
There is freedom. And there is the life of innocence. Both must be balanced on this scale. It is now my heart that will lie upon the scale of Anubis. Your heart beat too strongly in favor of its cause. The innocent must always be protected. My ardor shone like sun in my eyes, blinding me. You have done right by me. I accept his death. From this day, no hidden one will raise a sword against an innocent. So it shall be written. May you find peace in the Duat. May the hidden ones last until the end of time. The greatest of leaders, Gamilat, is now dead. And his story lives on in the warriors of the Sinai. He could kill a million tyrants with one breath. A divine arrow. The great Gamilat is no longer. Should we kill their dreams? Let them have their heroes. For now, the hidden ones are forgotten. This is to our favor. Gamelat's death serves a higher cause. No more senseless martyrs. Done good. Our tenants need to be passed on to those who have taken our oath. So they have a true creed to study. The Hidden Ones will pass on to Petra and towards Judea and forever. The creed must live beyond anyone. No one shall be bigger than the greater group. When I return to Rome, I will not speak of heroes. I will speak of discipline. Perseverance. Amunet is a mentor to this brotherhood. Our will never rests. And our blades shall never tire.
Mysterious poem. Later I will explore the Temple of Thoth.